Yo, what is up you guys? I'm DeAndre. I'm Javonta. And this is Dre and Jay. And we're here today to do a, a trailer reaction for Transformers Rise of the Beast. It's the new Transformers franchise. I'm pretty sure it's a continuation from uh, Bumblebee, which is a reboot from Michael Bay. You think so? I think so. I think it's a continuation from it. Bumblebee. I doubt it. I think it is. I think it's a continuation from that. I don't see why you would release Bumblebee then. Is Bumblebee, Bumblebee came out years is, ago. But I'm saying is Bumblebee just a, a solo? solo? Yeah. I think this is a continuation. I, I think they had ideas that probably did. I don't think they did. We'll see though. I don't yeah. think they. I think they want to go their own separate route. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to check this one out, man. I I, I love Transformers. I've loved it when I was a kid. I loved that. Yeah, because it was it was based on Bumblebee's time. Kind of, watch out, Beast Wars. You what? would have you would have. Why would you have Beast Wars then? What do you mean? If you were having Bumblebee still do like the Bumblebee storyline with Bumblebee. What are you talking about? Kind of literally leads into him going to like later on, like being a Camaro and then going to be with Shia LaBeouf and all that kind of stuff. I thought the I thought the Trent Bumblebee movie was a reboot from Michael. B. It's not. It's not a. It's not a prequel. It feels like a prequel because how it ends. Remember, he becomes a Corvette. He becomes that Corvette, that the ugly ass Corvette. But then when they announced the movie, I, I swear when they when Bumblebee. No, came I get out, they that. Well, I'm reboot. saying when they ended it, think about the end of it. They ended it when being yeah, a nasty yeah, ass Corvette course, that ended up being like Shia LaBeouf's Corvette, or the one he had at the beginning. But like I saw the behind the scenes. Well, when the you know, when they were releasing the the pictures for this movie, they showed Bumblebee and he had the same Camaro look in this movie as well. Oh, okay, maybe. So I think that's just his okay. Camaro look. Okay. Who knows? All right, let's get to it. Let's see what it does. Yeah. But just I've been a fan of Transformers when I was a kid. Loved the franchise. The um, movies got kind of ass. cartoons. Yeah, the movies. Okay, the movies. I like the first three. The first three I actually think are good. I like the I, first one and they start falling off for me. Because yeah, Optimus Prime became too OP, where the character basically Megatron meant nothing. They made Optimus Prime. I get Optimus Prime was too weak in the first one, but they basically made Optimus Prime like a meta, and basically nobody else was turned up with him, so he basically became like OP compared to everybody else. See, I'm a disagree. no matter who you brought in, the fucking dude, the fucking dude from up the uh, the fallen, the fallen got his ass whipped in like ten seconds. Well, I mean, he was the same nigga that I said in the beginning of the movie. That, but still, hey, you only, only a prime can kill me. But so. exactly, you hyped up to be like this, this, this guy, like the prime, and he got his ass whipped like in ten but seconds. But he, li but I'm saying he literally said at the beginning of the movie that. Only a prime. Yeah, I, me. I, I can't. And he fine. waited until a prime was dead. Until yeah, I but came that's down fine. Earth. But still, like to beat him in like ten seconds, like fuck, bro. He never. I was probably never really got his ass whooped. Like even the time he fucked up, old this dude nigga died. No, even when he, uh, yeah, took three of them niggas. Megatron got Megatron couldn't take him by himself. They took three of them. He barely. They still got their asses whooped. Okay, but also before I before we go into this trailer, let me say this. When he whooped those boys' ass who betrayed him, the money he brought from the planet, send send no prime. Yes. Pro, no prime had him begging for his life, and then Megatron saved him from. Prime, Which right. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I was kind of like Megatron whooped his ass and saved Optimus. Then Optimus started whooping fucking Megatron's ass like it wasn't shit, bro. And that shit pissed me off. Time. And I'm not, a, I'm not a, a, a Decepticon fan. Just like pissed me off, like bro, like Megatron's so fucking. I trash. don't think they made Optimus OP. They did because I, I, no, I, I think I think sure they they certainly devalued Megatron in those movies. They made they made brought Megatron down. And but Optimus, I, I was I was fine with the way they made Optimus, especially come, when you when you haven't seen like. Optimus should be bodying Starscream. He should be bodying fucking Soundwave or Shockwave. He should be bodying Berserker or any of those fucking Decepticons. So, like, that whole scene where, you know, he comes down, like, Sam's like, Optimus in the third movie, and he's just going ham and just slicing through niggas. Like, Optimus should be able to do that. Like, that's not OP to me. But against Megatron, that's my problem, bro. Megatron, he's well, buying Well, in the third movie, he was, Megatron was in a weakened state, so that made sense. Bro, but then Megatron... Because remember in the second movie, he got half his fucking body blown off, and he's over here talking about Starscream. Bro, my problem with the, my problem, I get, I get that, but the first movie, Megatron was, was dope. Like, Megatron was like, oh shit, Megatron's like God. And over the movies, he just becomes like a guy, you're like, I don't even care about Megatron. He's just over on the ground. He just trash right every other movie. He's trash. Yeah, I agree. That's why I said I, I think they sh certainly hold Megatron because he was, dope. I mean. Megatron I mean. was dope in the first. That's what I'm saying. They left Megatron where he was. They basically just boosted Optimus Prime, make Optimus Prime OP. But Optimus was weak in the first movie. That's why I said they they didn't just make them both and put Optimus Prime on Megatron's level. They said Optimus OP, Megatron stay the same. And I would rather you have an OP villain than an OP hero because it's not a good story. The yeah. OP villain you can live with. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. An OP villain can be dope. I, like, I'll, say, be cool. I'll say this lastly though. I'll say this for sure before I, before, I know y'all want to see this trailer reaction. I think if Michael Bay would have ended tra the Transformers movies off the third one, I think them like I think now, especially over time, those movies would have been like praised a little bit more, especially if it ended right after the third one. I think we would give it a little bit more praise. Maybe the franchise. Maybe. But, but when you when they when they decided to make those four that fourth fourth one, 
I can still watch it. I can. It's watchable. I can get behind it. You know, I'm like, it's okay. Even yeah. though I'm like, I hate the main thing we get Michael Bay up out of it. That fifth thing. movie is one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yeah. I will never watch the fifth Transformers. Yeah, movie Michael Bay either meant something. So yeah, I'm glad they are starting over with this. But right. yeah, on the clip, let's the clip. check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> And we got the Beast Wars in this, so this is awesome. New start. Oh shit. Primal. Stand down. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. I think that's oh, from the Bumblebee. Shit. I think it is from the Bumblebee. Now nah, his design's a little bit different though from Bumblebee. But you didn't even see it. But it's a classic yeah, look did. though. You barely saw it get the thing, but. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they got him in here too? Pull over! I'm not driving! He reminds me of Jazz. Probably because he's a Porsche too. Yeah. Oh shit. Cheetor. Hey, where my man Rat? Where my Rat Man at? Are you talking about uh, RC? Was oh, that Scourge? New voice, Foxmas? Okay. No, that's Peter Cole. Is it? Like this. Let them come. Oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's Peter Cole, right? <laughs> Primal look tight, bro. Bruh. Optimus Primal look tight. Optimus Primal look tight. Holy shit. We saw that scene already. Hey, that's swaggy. That was clean. That we oh, shit. Like that looks you know, fucking amazing. Go ahead, you can go first. Kind of want to go I mean, hey, I'm glad that they're bringing Beast Wars into this. I think the 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 um, Maximals and the Terracons look awesome. I don't know if Megatron's in this movie though. I, di I didn't see him at all in this trailer. I think it's probably Scourge. Oh, Ron Perlman's voice in Optimus Primal is pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a that's an awesome voice casting for that. Mm -hmm. um, to uh, you know rival Peter Cullen's amazing voice as Optimus, which I've always said, bro. If I had anyone to choose to narrate my life, it would be Peter Cullen. Like, guy's just amazing. I was surprised by the hip hop thing. Inclusion, huh? The hip hop and you mean inclusion? The yeah, episode. because it's uh, the director actually Stephen, Stephen Cable, Cable from uh, Black Creed. Creed. Too. Yep. I remember when I heard about this project originally. Not to cut you off. I remember when I heard about this project originally. I didn't know if they were gonna come out. I know that people were, like talking about like casting, so they were doing filming, like you know stuff like that, and they tried to get it all together. But I must say, it actually looks good. You know why though? It doesn't feel like a Michael Bay project. I feel like Michael Bay, like Michael Bay's great in his own little way, but like I think when you get Michael Bay, you're like, okay, I know what I'm getting out of Michael Bay. I'm getting a lot of explosions, a lot of just. I'm gonna get a hot chick, a bunch of shit just blowing up, mm -hmm. and that's it. This feels like they're gonna go more with it's. It, it looks more calmed down, in a good way. Though not like where like it looks like oh there's less going on. It looks like there's a lot going on, but less just like all this other stuff in the background to make you like oh shit explosions everywhere. Yeah. I feel like they really toned it down. The cre the they look they all look amazing. I think everyone looks amazing. Even uh, Octus Prime has that classic the classic truck look, which do looks dope. Mm -hmm. um, they definitely try to separate themselves from the old trilogy or the old Transformer movies, which is good. Um, this feels refreshing though. This feels more comic. Car this feels more like cartoon accurate for sure. Um, just looking at the Transformers, they they got Peter Cullen playing Optimus Prime, of course. Uh, Ron Perlman as Optimus Primal, which I like. Um, yeah, great choice. Bum they have Bumblebee. Peter Dinklage is voicing Scourge. Mm, okay, yeah, I thought so, I, I saw too. Pete Davidson as Mirage. Uh, Liza Koshy as Arcee. Michelle Yeoh as Arizor. 
Cheetor is which we saw in the trailer. Uh, Wheeljack is in this, and then Strat Stratosphere, Rhinots, Battle Trap, Nightbird. So yeah, there's no rat rat. Um, yeah, I can't I forgot his name. I forgot his name too. I don't know what I'm talking about though. But hey, I, I, Optimus his design does look different from Bumblebee though, a little bit. Cause I thought Luke Sands when they show him the little like the when the thing pops up the uh, he's like the hologram. What looks different to you? Cause I, I'll pull up a picture why. He looks like boxy, I would say. Yes, yeah, and like you notice, like there's not as much of like red. What you mean? It's a lot of red. Mm -mm. At, like compared to the bumblebee look. Look. I don't know. Like here, I'll point it out to you. Oh yeah. See. Yeah. Like, That's also because he's on Cybertron. Yeah, red and blue around around him. Like it's just it's just it just popped more. Yeah, compared yeah. Compared to this, but I like this could be the first look, and you get he probably change it up later on. Yeah, could this be. might be just his first look you see him with. You know what I mean? But I like how he looks right here. Man, I think this is cool with me. He looks good here, but this I, I, this this shit looked. Yeah, like, this might, is probably my favorite. look. But that might change. You know, I know he might get get upgrade over time or something like that. Um, mm. but I I thought Primal was the coolest piece of this trailer. Seeing Optimus Primal was dope. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Prime, Prime uh, Bumblebee's cool. You know, Bumblebee, you know what you're going to get. I just hope they also, they don't try to make Bumblebee... Like, in the last one, I feel like Bumblebee was too much of a... They gave him too much of a shine. Too much shine. Too, he was too much of the main character in a way to me. And he was too... I thought uh, they had Bumblebee, like, OP as fuck also. Right. Same with Optimus. I don't want... I, I think the Transformers, I think everybody should have their time to shine. I hope no... I mean, if, if somebody else said, I guess Optimus has I mean, to stand Optimus up. Optimus is that guy. His, his literal initials are OP, nigga. Stop. <laughs> Optimus Prime makes sense now. because he's the leader, and I get that. But when they have all, I want, I want every side character to get some love. Yeah, I hope I do want RC to get some love because RC was in my the second movie, and she was in it for like the beginning. Yeah, that, for that chase sequence in the beginning, and then after that, she was barely in it. And, now, and I'll, also to add to that, also it. I would say um, this feels like, this feels like a more serious film. Like I'm sure it's gonna have moments where they have jokes, but it seems like there's more. It ain't gonna be. I hope it's not a joke fest like the other ones were, mm -hmm. because those Transformers movies are become just straight just comedy, and that kind of got on my nerves too. But this looks dope overall, looks wise. Like this looks amazing. Oh yeah, I like that. I definitely like all the designs that they have for the. Yeah, it just feels more grounded too. It feels like I don't know how to explain. It just feels more clean. Like I feel like I'm not. I'm not going to have to worry about looking at a whole bunch of explosions. About I feel like I'm gonna be able to focus on like. More on the scene instead of all the background noise. You know I mean, like that's a cool scene. I don't mind that in the battle scene, but like Michael Bay had that shit in every every fight, pretty yeah. much. This battle. Scene. But this looks this, over here. This battle scene looks just like something I would see on a Transformers TV series. Yeah, exactly. Like this, that, what, this is what people been asking for. That is what I wanted to see in a Transformers. This is off world. Maybe that's on Earth. I don't know. That looks, I hope it's off world. I hope so too, because I don't. Need that's no, off world. I, hey, I don't need no humans in No casualties. Fight, no, you know. Exactly. No, that's no, what's no, tight, no cutaways to humans and shit. Just hey, just give me full. And that's another thing. I hope, I hope they don't focus in too much on humans. Like, you got the humans there, but don't be focused. We don't care about the humans. Like you got, you got them there to push the story for. Mm -hmm. But give us the, the Autobots and Decepticons. So. Also, Bumblebee did a really good job of this too. But I think just this Decepticon look. Because one one thing I hate about the Decepticons and Michael Bay's Transformers is you couldn't even know who the fuck, you, like. You can really point out this Decepticons. They didn't stand out. They had the red they, eyes. They, they, they were yeah. always. They all were gray. They all didn't really have color yeah. to them compared to the Autobots. You know, so. But yeah, some some of them like a uh, old dude that came down from the ship. Oh yeah, Sentinel. Yeah. His ass, but he was a he was an Autobot that turned Decepticons. No, so. no, not him. The other dude uh, that used to tra capture them, to capture them, work for the government. Lockdown. He was gray. <laughs> He's black. He was okay. Black, gray. But yeah, I agree. Like, I agree. You know what I agree. Mean. Nah, yeah, that's cool to see the colors and stuff like that. That'd be, that'd be dope. Yeah. Seeing Cheetah was cool. I mean, seeing Cheetor, it was all. It was all. I think it's a good trailer. And it doesn't show too much. I mean, I know it's a teaser. It's early. Don't show too much of the humans. They're in there, but that ain't the focal point, which I liked also. So yeah, I'm wrong. Looks this pretty trailer. good. This, this, I, I'm excited. This looks good. Hey, Transformers, we back. Mm, calm down now. <laughs> but uh, calm yeah. Calm down now. Let us know what your thoughts are on the Transformers Rise of the Beast, the official teaser trailer. Be sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like, share, dun, and subscribe. Because we are here. We are waiting. Right now. I'm all up in song. Alright, y'all. We out. <laughs>